Hello and welcome back for our second cast of the day at Lockley's Bowling Club for the Champion of Champion Singles. We have on our screens today the Men's Champion Champ Singles Final between Craig Mills of Grange and David Wilson from Blackwood Bowling Club. Joined once again by the man Andrew Smith. Welcome, mate. Thank you, mate. Looking forward to the final. A bit of a David and Goliath battle coming up, I think, with uh, Craig Mills, a previous winner of this event and a winner of several titles, a current state skipper against David Wilson, a very much a new boy on the scene. Just uh, won his Blackwood Club singles this year and has progressed through to the final of this event. A great effort. Yeah, absolutely, Smithy. Got... Uh David won a handful of games actually by a fair mar margin. However, he did actually receive a uh, the morning of. Um, so yesterday morning he did actually... We got a phone call to say his uh, opponent couldn't make it. So he did receive a first-round buy. But nonetheless, taking him from a round of 64 all the way through to a final here. And conditions are still... Very pleasant here at Lockleys for the moment. We uh, have a, a slight westerly blowing. Um, we have a cool change threatening later in the day, but hopefully we'll be getting through before that arrives and, uh, and not affecting the quality of this game. So at the moment, conditions are still ideal. They are, yeah, a little bit of probably a little bit more breeze than uh, this morning, I'd suggest, Smithy, or our, our, our previous. Um cast I should say just starting to edge ever so slightly heavier same direction the players just completing their up and back action is about to commence And our marker for today, Smithy, we've got Karen Kneebone from Murray Bridge RSL. Going to do a great job, no doubt. We've also got on the rinks next door, uh, the from what we saw this earlier today, Laney McGorman and Raylene Heitman will be playing off in the final. Nearly had another mental blank there, but we got there in the end. So they'll be playing off. We'll try and keep you guys updated with as many updates on their score throughout this game. So Craig Mills away, a medium to long length end. Taking what would be the narrower side. And a very good start. Four feet or so past. David won through in a thrilling finish in the semi-final. He was trailing 16-20 and got back to got up to 18 and then a three on the last end to, to go out 21-20 against Staz from Millswood. Yep, absolutely Smith here. Pretty epic semi-final. You can't get too much better than that. Both players opting for the commentary side, so their backhand, which has uh, typically been the the tighter hand of uh, this week out at Lockleys. And the green looking very free this afternoon, so a lot of sunshine during the day and. Running beautifully here at Lockleys. Craig Mills delivering his third bowl. Does he need to drop a couple of feet off his first two attempts? Three 
Three bowls. Same speed. Yeah, it was interesting as well, Smithy. We saw both players opt for uh, two trial ends, which uh, is allowed, um, but probably not commonly seen. The women were pretty keen to just get stuck into their games. Well, a big break for the ladies. It was, yes. Yep. Probably a big break for Craig as well, to be fair. Probably would have been a good 40 minutes, so makes sense. We see David Wilson here with a brilliant, brilliant third bowl. You'd have to think he might be in a little bit of danger, though. Sitting something jack high against a player like Craig Mills, he'll uh, no doubt be up and into this little three or four foot touch where he makes himself four or he sits the bowl for shot. Of course, we all know he uh, don't have to ask him twice to have a drive. So we'll see what he plays. On the draw, I think. Probably a little bit much space for second wood to risk running. Yes, agree, agree. Looks better weight this trip. And excellent shot for second. Absolutely. Maybe do we see a little bit of aggression from David early? Holding one. At least at least got third wood. So if he did want to try and plant at three, he would make three. Or do we just see him on a draw? the draw so probably going to be delighted to get straight on the board I'll tell you what the track on this is brilliant just seemed to just drop that a little bit in his delivery and yeah lost a yard so but on the board are we looking at? Full length is the go. If it stops, well, it's stopped now, but unfortunately <laughs> it's in the ditch. So Craig will get to pick the length. Seen that a few times, actually, Smithy, on... Um Today and yesterday's stream, a few jacks going into the ditch. I think there was a couple on uh, Sunday as well. Green's obviously playing very nice down here at Lockleys all, all week. They've run 15 plus, and today is no exception to that. So Craig's given himself four feet for the jack cast and has made it to the tee. So a well, pretty much a 23 metre end. Quick update for the women as well as we see these first bowl getting played by David Wilson. David Wilson. Lena McGorman is out to a 6-0 lead over Raylene Heitman. David off to a brilliant start. Laney once again over there playing short to the ditch, which was her tactic this morning, so worked then, why not now? Good reply from Craig. David now switching hands. Must like the opportunity to arrive up there on the forehand. A couple of bowls to sit now. And he's played it well. And he's not too far away at all. Just the wrong side of Craig's bowl, but on the head. That's it, yeah. Beautiful weight as well.
Woolsey just getting stuck at ball wide. We saw that in the first game today as well. Smithy, Sheridan played that hand all day, or most of the day, and uh, found herself just getting just stuck out there. Probably the slightly tighter hand of the two. And certainly with any anything above draw weight holds on for a long time. <coughs> Yeah, absolutely. Especially just pushing up into a little bit of wind as well. As we see David with a third brilliant bowl. Really tightening up this head for Craig. We thought some nerves might have been involved, but he's come out and played good weight straight away. So, Absolutely. See Millsy here just probably just overcorrected a little bit. Now just under, but two bowls passed. Second wood. Mind seeing David just uh, sneak something to that down the back now. See if he can split uh, Craig's two back balls. Switching to the backhand, so he may be reading your mind, Isaac. <laughs> reading or hearing us, they're, they're quite close. <laughs> See David do almost just that. Just crashed on Millsy's back bowl there. It's probably a tough one anyway for Craig. He probably can't really afford to play too much weight. If he gets uh, David's front bowl, he, he nearly punches his own bowl out and risks going down four if he doesn't get anything else on the way through. So I'm sure we'll just see two or three feet through the head here. Just looking to... Sit on one of those bowls, get a little bit of jack movement. On the forehand, looks a better track. Certainly looks better weight, it's just a matter of whether it hangs on at the end, which it is. And a great shot to convert. Absolutely brilliant there. Getting the one shot, taking us one all. Early days, Smithy, so we'll give some uh, sponsor love to the guys and girls at West End, MGA Insurance Group, Sports Centre, and, of course, the Office for Rec and Sport. All great supporters of our great sport. And we thank them for, for being involved. Craig Mills... A little bit of a uh, length change here, Smithy. It's interesting. He, he elected very short, and now he's elected to go well, a solid medium length and played a very good first bowl. Craig Mills also had a Tough semi-final victory with uh, over Anthony Moffat from Port Nalunga. 21-18 in uh, what was a very high standard game. Yeah, both the men's semis were probably top class. Very, very closely fought battles. He's found his range here on this length for sure. That's two excellent opening bowls. David Wilson here following him down. We're going to come down to the speed. Good enough for second wood. So we can hear Craig Mills ask the marker a few questions. Brilliant to have a couple of microphones down each end to pick up what those players are asking and, and how the marker responds. 
See Millsy here changing hands. Just going to run out of speed by the looks. Still be just the one shot. David on the backhand again. Looks to be quick. Just sliding past. Lovely line. Certainly got more weight than his third bowl. If he connects his own, he's getting that in the count, but slid past on the inside. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what uh, David opts to play here. Being one down, a couple of uh, you know bowl pass and a bowl sort of jack high. I think the touch is probably the best option, but this is not a whole lot of harm in having a little tickle up the middle. He'll stay on the draw on the back end. So yeah, I think it's probably the better option of the of the two, but can't rule it out. It's on the back end on the draw, just looking to go better than his last one. Just a high and wide, and a little bit quick. So Milsey hasn't given up. Oh, yes, he has. One shot. Another shot to Craig Mills, taking him to two. David Wilson one after just three ends. Of course, playing first to 21, as you can see on your screens there. So, fairly long end again. It's only about two metres in front of the, uh, uh, the tee and throwing the jack to the tee. And what's looking like a very good opening bowl. Absolutely, that's brilliant. Brilliant start. David here. Just take a few extra seconds on the mat than your typical bowler, in particular Millsy. Craig, obviously, he's uh, fairly quick on the mat. David does take a few extra seconds for each bowl. So we see him following him down. It's a very good attempt. Just going over. Will it stay on? Yes, it does. So still in the game back there. Craig Mills can go a little bit better than his first. It looks a very good bowl again. Uh, yes, top shelf. Brilliant. Added bonus of uh, having the microphones down each end, Smithy, as we get to hear the uh, beautiful Lockley's ambience with the wildlife in the background. <laughs> can you name that bird? <laughs> <laughs> No, this happened. Uh, this happened the other week on a stream, and I don't think we need to revisit. <laughs> so we see David playing some weight here. Aggression. Ooh, just getting the front one. Unlucky not to get both there, but yes. Uh, Millsy's bowl is a toucher, I think, and will remain live in the ditch. Don't mind to see that from David Wilson. To be honest, Smithy, we didn't really. I guess both between you and I, we probably haven't seen a whole lot of him play. Of course, we're very well aware of the skills that Craig Mills brings to the bowling green, but 
It's good to see David. A little bit of aggression early. He wasn't afraid to uh, be aggressive in the semi-final, so I'm sure we'll see some more of that as we go. Two down, though, now may make him reconsider his options. area again it's a good effort one down yeah it's very good to follow that up after just uh, having a, a nice drive in there following it up with a pretty good draw shot a little bit quick but only one down currently Craig Mills, no doubt, going back and wanting to replicate one of those first two bowls that he played. Needs to run. Still going, though. Yes, a counter. Two shots. It is. Two shots and two backward. That's it. Well, what do we see from David here? Two shots down. Set up very similar to the drive he had earlier in this end. Will we see weight again or will we see him just go back and minimise this to one down or, or draw the shot? On the draw. On the draw. Following down Craig and, and David's previous bowls. Looks like he's on a brilliant track here. What a great attempt. Wow. Wow. Brilliant. Probably made second, I'm not sure. Hard to tell with the camera angle. Craig's going for the measure. Great vision here. It's like two shots. It is. Which takes Craig Mills out to a 4 1 lead over David Wilson of Blackwood in this men's champion of champion singles final clash. Of course, the winner of this going on to represent South Australia at the champion of champions competition. National Champion of Champions competition, I should say. Yes, the winner of each state and territory, Champion of Champion, will be in Perth in October, I think, to uh, play off for the national title. Pretty good start from Craig, a couple of feet. See great concentration there from David Wilson. Delivering down, following Craig Mills on that backhand. And a lovely shot. also following him down on that backhand just looking to draw him off at this stage yep good shot probably just a tad further than he would have liked but
David turning back on it. Wasn't too happy with it. Not a whole lot wrong with the weight. So just hanging out a little bit wide. Wilsey following his bowl down the green. He is looking intently. It's just going to be short, but a very, very good second wood. Important for David to just reach here, I believe. Doesn't want to stick anything jack high for, for Craig. Having a couple of second woods. David here, probably needs a clean run. Crashing on that previous bowl of his. One day, you guys. Not a standing. Please <laughs> can hear the rink mark there coming through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Craig Mills currently one down. <laughs> Playing a little bit of weight, looking to sit the shot bowl or pull the jack around the corner. Just looks like he's outside the line. Or he was looking to come off that outside bowl. Chance for David to draw two. Bolton running, looking a little quick, I think. Not by very much, but just slid past. Well, David getting himself off that difficult one. Currently 4-2 in favour of Craig Mills from the Grange Bowling Club. See what <laughs> Not ideal. Cameraman dropped his sunglasses on the scaffold. <laughs> and... Uh, Laney is on, uh, has a 10-5 lead in the ladies' final. Oh, here we go. Dave Wilson opting for a full-strength end here, going T to T. Looks like he's maybe opted to switch hands here, Smithy. Probably a pretty good decision after throwing down that. That is a brilliant start. He's still staying on the eastern side of the green on the narrower hand. Looks like a good reply, just dropping that one on 18 inches short. And he's back on it. He promoted Craig's bowl. We'll wait to see if Karen off, indicates. Yep. 
She has. Jack I the side bowl. Is that Jack I or relation Jack? So Craig a little bit of fortune there. David unfortunately turned his bowling for shot, so just getting the lay of the land from the marker and coming in on the forehand again. Yeah, a little bit unlucky to run into that bowl. Probably a shame he did turn his back on it. Probably would have been a good bowl otherwise. We see Craig Mills unfortunately dropping short here. up and into it on the back hand just looking to sneak inside his own bowl and pass Craig but he's pulled up short too may well have blocked himself out of that hand for his next bowl Craig Mills down on the forehand looks a very good shot here Sliding past the jack, but in a good position a yard behind. Big bowl from Dave here. He really needs to draw the shot or at the very least get past. You wouldn't want to give Craig two cracks at uh, drawing a toucher here. Just pulling up short again. Craig Mills final bowl. Weight is looking good. Probably needs to get past his own. They have just rolled himself out there, unfortunately. We just think it's a bit thicker and he could have been a chance, but it's going to be one shot, taking him to five. Leading the way five two now. Start there from Craig. A little bit quick there. As he knew pretty well straight away, he was yeah. <laughs> back back behind the mat before <laughs> it had travelled too far. Losing <laughs> just over as well, but still a very good shot. A 
Uh, he was looking to correct his played much better weight. Just holding wide. Not good enough a shot, according to Karen. Yeah, weight well, was very good on that bowl. Probably saved him a little bit. It was a little bit wide. So see Craig here. A little bit of jack movement would help him a lot. No jack, but probably good enough for shot. Oh, yes. See a little bit of a mix up there from the marker. Put the wrong colour up, but she uh, amended it very quickly. Important for Dave here. Just needs to just be a touch better than his previous bowl. A little bit past is, is going to help him. It's a very good shot. Absolutely gone. Blow for blow here. Currently holding. Craig Mills, no doubt. Be looking for a little bit of a little bit of jack movement here. A foot or two down the line or to the left of screen when we see the the head. Be absolutely beneficial. Doesn't seem to be happy. Hanging wide, we mentioned earlier that seen a lot of that with any weighted shots on that hand. They just seem to hold their line for a long time. Well, here we go. Dave Wilson, bit of rinse and repeat action here. Takes him get a, a two. Doesn't want to be accidentally quick. Great track, all on the speed now. Oh, it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. okay. Two shots, very, very well played there from Dave Wilson. Now trailing by just one shot, 5-4. Yes, he settled into the game pretty well. And uh, <coughs> both players playing Solidly. They are, yeah. Looks like he's going to try and stick with this T to T action. Craig obviously rolling just then. Uh, sort of longer than medium, but shorter than short. So just a couple metres difference in the two lengths. We see here we go. Full just length end. He's kept the jack on deck this time, so. it right out there with this long end turning his back on it early it went on a whole lot wrong with it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why most people will be happy with the bowl two feet behind on line ditch to ditch Craig Mills also on a brilliant track here Needs to get a little bit of turn late. Dave looks to be on a similar track. Maybe. No, that's a very, very good shot. Two good balls. I thought for a second it wasn't going to have enough speed, but it, it was perfect weight. So we see a hand change here from. Obviously not happy with the line on that forehand. Been struggling just a tad with it.
Made the change, pushed into the breeze and just came up a little bit short. Dave giving in for a little bit of a chase here. On the run and good reason too. He's going to be happy when he gets there. <laughs> Sure is. Collecting a little bit of jack on the way through. It should just be the two shots. See a great little replay here. Me measure for three is indicated by Karen, so... That one. Yeah. We hear there two, two down and a measure. Solid weight from Craig Mills. Looking for connection. Well, there goes the measure. Eliminated the measure. <laughs> so two to David. One bowl each to come. David on the backhand, looking to add to his current two shots. Looks to be on a pretty good line again. It's turning nicely late and... Brilliant. He's played a very good end here. Yes, four awesome bowls there from Dave Wilson. Currently holding three shots. If he can hold on to this, it will put him in the lead. see here Smithy well I'd imagine he'd play the same weighted shot if he's wide of the jack he's a good chance of getting the two counters at the back looks like he's going bigger than that the strip so. see Craig Unfortunately, pulling it quite tight there. Likely three shots to Dave Wilson. Wait for the official count. And there it is. Three shots to Dave Wilson. Taking the lead now. Currently 7-5 up over Craig Mills from Grange Bowling Club. We see the replay there. Good to see those players, like a player of t such talent. It's Craig Mills there. We see the, <laughs> the crowd. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant footage there. Highlights for sure, for sure. But good to see those. Player like Craig Mills, back himself in there to just uh, play that bigger weight. Three down, unfortunately couldn't get the job done, but good to see nonetheless. We see Dave Wilson here roll another T to D, T to T length end here. Just a little bit quick. Quick update from the ladies' final. Laney is out to a 15 to 7 lead over Raylene Heitman of Hope Valley Bowling Club. Craig Mills getting this end underway with a great start.
both players using arrows. I believe Dave has Aero Evolve and Craig with Aerodynamics. So you'll see just a slight change in line for those two. Craig being slightly tighter than what Dave's bowls will be. Craig now forced onto the forehand. Great shot there. Getting a little bit of jack on the way through. Bit of rinse and repeat action here from Dave, and he goes very close for getting a bit of jack movement. His, pre his first bowl just sitting on the edge of the ditch. So if he can repeat that first bowl, he will get a bit of contact on Craig's bowl or jack movement, which is good. So we see him chase his bowl down. Weight's perfect for the job. bit of a uh, whoopsie there but uh, just showing a little bit of frustration at the moment but yeah but at the end of the day a little bit of a blocker may force uh, it, it will assume it will force Dave onto the other hand well, just, just having a crack at it on the backhand I think there's still a line under that bowl for him on the backhand it's just Certainly. a matter of whether he's concerned about Losing any close bowls, but shaping up on the backhand at the moment. I'm giving it some serious thought. Backhand it is. Going big on the backhand. Oh. The old blocker. <laughs> well, he did run into the blockers. <laughs> Would have, uh, can only imagine the reaction from Craig would have been wild if he had got that just on the inside. <laughs> but it was, uh, nah, he was wide of his target. Craig, an opportunity to uh, add another. Needs a clear road. Didn't quite get a clear road. Got a little bit of that uh, blue and orange on the way through, but he may nearly sneak in. No, not quite. One shot. One shot. Six, seven. Matt right back. And a shorter end to the middle of the green. There you go. So we're seeing every length at the moment. Certainly going to the backhand now, probably thinking it's more reliable turn out there. And a good start. So I say story would check out there, Smithy. A very good start from Craig Mills. Wilson up and into him on the forehand, getting a little bit of jack. I like to see that. Well, yes, straight away there's start the end again effectively, two bowls a yard away. That's a very good shot. Yes, Craig just making that slight adjustment there. Weight was very good, probably just a touch tight. A little bit of breeze picking up now. Yes, we can certainly feel a little bit of extra breeze there, so that hand will only get wider.
Lady McGorman out to a 15-8 lead in the ladies final. Got the legs, he's going to be a good shot. Still didn't quite get back. Yeah, enough to enough to make the count though, Smithy. Currently holding two shots. Craig Mills. Which has uh, forced Dave to change hands. Now back on the forehand where he played the first bowl of this end. Here we go. Potentially. Oh, it's rather quick. Thought he was going to get a little rub off the front one. It did take one of the counters out, so back to a one shot hold for Craig. One ball each to come. David with three balls. Well, two certainly just behind. Craig weighing up his options here. Could be in a little bit of trouble if the jack was to go back two or three feet down the line. shot. I need to turn a little bit more than what it's going to do. Oh, he's just got a little bit of help off the outside for another counter, I expect. So a two-shot hold. Any movement on the draw would be a huge result for David. Intentionally looking for trail the jack, but on the draw with six or eight inches, if he did trail it, he brings the back two bowls into play. He does switching hands yet again. turn enough to get to the jack. He looks a bit quick. Oh, that was a fine, fine attempt. I'm not sure if that, bowl, if that bowl is any closer than his other two, but no, there was a indicating two. David walking around and conceding two shots. <coughs> Rosie wrestles back the lead. That is correct. So now 8-7 in favour of Craig Mills. <laughs> Just starting and was thinking of trying a new line there for a <laughs> second. Got the mat back into the middle now. So and a, uh, a short end to the middle. Probably... 23 metre length. So Craig on that forehand. Getting end 11 underway with a very good start. Good opening. He's looking a little bit more comfortable with his line on that side of the green. Be interesting, Smithy, to see how much this shadow potentially starts to play an effect on this game as we see 
just starting to creep into their where their feet are. Quite a large tree behind the sun, so in front of the sun, I should probably say. Yeah, sun behind the tree. Some incredible tree if it was behind the sun. <laughs> <laughs> See Dave Wilson there with a, a brilliant reply. This looks a very good weighted bowl. Yeah, a little bit of jack movement would be brilliant too. Just ducking under at that last, last inch. Two good shots though. Good setup for Millsy. David needs to just try to get close to that second wood on the outside or past it. Slowing down a little, not quite reaching the head, so an opportunity here for Craig to sit shut pole or trail the jack two feet. See it, Smithy, we've got a few people tuning in from across the globe, which is good to, always good to see and read. If you are enjoying the stream, give it a like, give it a share. You see Craig Mills just sneaking through that gap. Played the shot perfectly with no result. But another one waiting. Yeah, very important for David Wilson to just uh, get past here, I think. If he can just rest on one of those bowls of Craig Mills, it would help him a lot. Well, he's played a good shot. He was certainly... Well, I think that's two, and... I'm sure that will change the shot that Craig plays. Yeah, that's yeah. Just as effective as having one pass is uh, taking the shot away. It does make it very hard now for Craig to draw that toucher on the forehand. Does potentially have three third woods though, so if he did want to have a look at both bowls, there is that option. see hey a few a uh, few bugs flying around as you can see just in that picture there yeah, he's looking up on the backhand here he's probably looking to get the running surface of the front bowl to get both counters out of the head played it very very well and not quite the right angle left one counter standing Yes, unfortunately, yeah, just getting the front one and then onto his following bowls. Should only be the one shot still. See, great replays there. Brilliant to be able to watch these shots back. David Wilson now switching hands, opting for the forehand. Doesn't want any movement on the jack. Fairly careful draw shot, but not sure. One only. Oh, hold on. Confirmed. One, two, David puts them all square. Eight all after the 11 ends. Playing first to 21, as we can see on your screen there. Looking at the ladies' final, Isaac. Laning out to a 19-8 lead and uh, holding a couple early in the end they're playing. So yeah, that would uh, put Laney back to back champion of champion for South Australia. Dave rolling another ditch to ditch.
Ave with a brilliant start. Playing well, certainly not look, looking like being overawed by the opponent or the occasion. Overawed, that is. And uh, Craig seemingly switching back now, Smithy, to the forehand where he started with a great shot there, just getting a little, little slice off the bowl. Excellent reply. Perhaps the extra breeze. Ditch to ditch might make that wider hand a little challenging. We'll see how it plays out as we go forward. David doesn't look happy with this shot. Just a yard short. All right, they've been neck and neck, Isaac. There's probably going to be a break at some stage. But just a matter of who breaks. Another, another excellent shot here from Millsy. Just through the head a little. Good home. Yeah, absolutely, Smithy. After 11 ends, I think we've had all ones and twos, except for that one three that uh, Dave was able to pick up three ends ago. Switching to the forehand. Yeah, good decision, I think, Smithy. Got a lot of opportunity up there on that forehand. Has that chance to sit Craig's bowl or draw the jack himself, and he's going to go very close. What a good attempt. Wow. Just going through that little gap. Does make it a little bit harder for Craig, though. There was an opportunity there for him to, to draw that jack down the line. It's going to switch him over to the backhand now. Out on a brilliant track. Really sit down. Just passes the second wood. Wow, what a big bowl David has here. If he can sit Craig's bowl, if he can get it in the center with two or three feet, only needs to give it two rolls, so probably doesn't even need that three feet. Two rolls on Craig's bowl. He makes three three shots. Probably a pretty safe three as well. No real danger. Craig has two bowls at the back. But a difficult one to try and run the jack, so he would have to draw himself out of that situation should it arise. Dave on that forehand. Showing a lot of interest. Looks tight. I'm not sure he's got the... Uh, the gr certainly not the grass, nor the weight to play that shot, so... Probably a nice little opportunity missed. Yeah, well, Smithy, that could have been the breakaway that we just spoke about. Feels he back on the forehand. Can not slide through. Just slid off his own. A shake of the head from Craig. He thought that was a little better than that. But score just the same. Craig now with just a nose in front. 9-8 after 12 ends. We see him there. A little bit of consideration to force in what length to throw. And maintaining the short to the middle. It is just creeping over the front line. Not sure where the mat is right back. Must be. 
in the lady semi Smith here looked like Raylene was two or three down just before and she managed to draw the shot so looked like she was down game keeps herself alive that score being 19-9 ladies final Craig Mills leaving his first bowl two or three feet short. Conditions are cooling down, so I'm wondering whether the green may start to slow a little. That's it. Another, that, that shade we talked about previously, just starting to creep a little bit further forward. And in the women's game, the, there's another tree that is casting a rather large shadow across a good portion of the green, probably 25% of the green now covered by that shadow. No doubt to start playing an effect in the men's game. Craig even opting to throw the sunnies out. And the viewers can't see the ladies' rink, but interestingly, there's seven short bowls over there. <laughs> True. <laughs> Turning his back on it once again, but not a whole lot wrong with it. <laughs> Front toucher, very good. This just be a, a nervous idiosyncrasy from David. Just let it go. Nothing I can do about it now, so I'll just <laughs> get behind the mat, pick the next one up. More aggression from Craig. See a uh, footy being kicked in the background there. Brilliant Lockley's football club down the back. And it uh, looks like Laney McGorman has sealed the deal going back to back in the women's champion of champion singles. So congratulations to Laney from Adelaide Bowling Club. We see Craig Mills playing some speed here and killing the end. Losing patience with controlled weight on that narrow side going down there and decided to take the uh, turn out of the event and went straight at the jack and killed the end. Oh. Jackie Field nearly got burnt on the high five then. <laughs> <laughs> so they bring the bowls up to the end that uh, they were playing towards and they'll go back towards the clubhouse. Jack looks to be just short of the line. So it'll be interesting to see if he does call a measure here. So our umpire Sandra Wallace brought into duty. The entire jack needs to be past the 21 metre mark. That's it. This is actually her first umpire's call of the whole day, believe it or not, Smithy. Not wrong. Into our third game, or third round of the day. Lucky you're paying them by the call. <laughs> Falling three or four inches short by the looks of that, being rolled back, which means 
Dave will get the opportunity to roll this jack. I'm sure we'll see a ditch to ditch her again. So we see there that shadow now starting to play just a little bit more effect coming down the green. Great vision there of, of those shadows we speak of. Craig Mills getting this end underway with a very good start. A couple feet through. Backhand again, and what a very good opening bowl on a full length end. Yeah, he's really got his mark on this uh, ditch to ditch length, really nailing it each time, especially going into the breeze, proving a little bit more difficult for the players today. Craig Mills, has he corrected on his first? It's an excellent reply, whatever happens. Good enough, I think. Yeah, looks to be the shot. Had brilliant weight there. So we see a change of hands now from Dave Wilson. Let's be on a very good track. Has he got contact? Perfect. Very, very well played. All calm and collected there. Craig Mills just leaving his third bowl short. So. Opportunity for David to consolidate. He may be concerned about the two bowls of Millsy behind the head, but see, looking like he's playing backhand. Yeah, you'd have to think with that, that last one of Craig's crossing the head. It's probably on the draw line, so... At a guess, he, he's going to go for a little bit of back cover here. He's on a great track to do that. Just a couple of bowls wider than the normal draw. And he's done so, which uh, really probably forces Craig's hand here. Needs to play that more finesse and, and perfect weight. Can't just, probably can't just have a run at this. I hope to just get a couple of bowls out, one or both bowls out, or we'll pop the jack. Well, don't mind me. Got no idea. <laughs> well, you certainly would think hoping for the bowls. See, Craig. Missed his line narrow. Yeah. David holding two. Chance. A nice little multiple. There you go, Craig. He's not hasn't really hit his up shots today, unfortunately. We've we've had some brilliant replays, but um, none of them are unfortunately making any great contact. See Craig there, pulling the forehand short. Probably one of those ones you'd rather miss it wide, but. Nonetheless, Dave Wilson on the mat. Opportunity to make a three. Put himself back in the front. Throw 
throwing it out there. Looking pretty good, just needs to run. Not much further. Yeah, it didn't need much, did it, Smithy? Another roll when he was in. Looks like it's going to be, yes, two shots there to Dave Wilson to put himself in front, making it 10-9 his way. Craig Mills trailing by one shot. Playing brilliantly at the moment, David Wilson, isn't he, Smith? He probably someone who we didn't really know too much about before he uh, played here today and made it through the semi and into the final. Watching the semi, he was steady on the draw all game. Wasn't afraid to be aggressive as well. So, um, putting Craig Mills under a little bit of pressure here. first bowl David's played for a few ends but Craig hasn't can taken advantage of that a good four feet short I think we will see the the pace come off the green a little as we get more and more shadow across it and The sun loses its impact. Good correction here from David. I was say, this is a brilliant bowl from David. Very cool, calm and collected, and uh, a few little emotions just starting to play at Craig Mills. Shaking his head after the previous delivery. Little last minute change to the backhand. This is a good response this time. A good second wood. David following his bowl down, and why not? It's a pretty good shot. Just very close. One only. And the camera looks like it was nearly in, but uh, no confident call from Marker. Just one shot. Forcing the change of hands from Craig Mills. Looking to get another close bowl so we can play an aggressive shot just over the head it is behind though David can play confidently on his backhand no chance of giving the shot away on the outside bowl of Craig Mills and an opportunity to turn his own in or Mills is out for a three count absolutely Smithy if if all else fails, then uh, something past is absolutely going to be beneficial here with those two bowls sitting the way they are. Craig Mills also having the furthest back bowl. So very important here for Dave just to be up and into them. This way, looks like he has a confident weighted bowl. Just outside Millsy's bowl, but no, yeah, no, no harm there whatsoever. No, absolutely. Probably just uh, that tighter hand of the two. Probably just got a little bit stuck out there. Bowl wider than he needed to be. 
But again, a bowl pass is, is going to be helpful to him here. No doubt we'll probably see Craig. At a guess, I'm going to say forehand under his front one. It could be backhand with a little bit of speed. He's going to get some jack movement or the one or the two bowls. Needs to be away from his own, that's all. Yes, absolutely. And probably for that reason. Played it tight. Score of one still. Score of one, that's correct. No change. Just wait for the official count for Craig to get up there and check. There we go. One shot to Dave Wilson. Blackwood Bowling Club. I say previously, Smithy, I, I didn't know much about him. But all the interaction I have had with him, he's a very, very kind man. Just FYI, just in yeah. case you wanted to know. I believe he's a physiotherapist by trade. Yes, yep. Persisting with full length, persisting on the backhand. That's it. It's a pretty fair start. One yard behind. Forehand just struggling, but probably going to be still a very good starter. And the shot. Dave just looking to drop a foot or two off his first bowl here. shot. Camera angle makes it difficult to tell. Okay, we're having a look now. Craig looks to be on a very good track again. Contact with his front. Oh, we may, well, I think he has to have brought both those bowls in. Yes, Karen Amarka holding up two green. Will we see aggression? Probably a pretty fair time to play it. Both bowls back at this stage. Two bowls just short of Jack. Both options to make off of and onto the Jack or punching one through. He's playing a little bit of weight, controlled. Yeah, just looks like a very nice, cool, calm and collected speed. And it's very, very close here, Smithy. Oh, he just a getting a little shot. bit of jack on the way through, but not maybe not quite enough. Great replay there as we see just the jack moving just that two inches. And he has made shot, according to Karen, so... Good result. No, very good bowl there. It's good to see. Neil's showing some intent here. A little bit quick and in through his own. Good enough, I think.
as the wind really starts to pick up here at Lockleys. Interesting to see what he plays here, Smithy. <coughs> well, only one down, I think, so probably just drawing on the forehand. Slide under Millsy's front bowl to just land on the shot bowl or draw a toucher. On its way. Looks sort of similar speed to the previous bowl. Gonna need to hold on and needs a bit of help if he does. Unfortunately, tight. Didn't mind that a little bit of aggression though again, Smithy. I know he said uh, he was trying to slide under the f that front one of Craig's on the forehand, left of screen. I didn't mind that he had everything passed and. Uh, Opportunity to sit Craig's shot ball through if he did get there. Does Millsy have a line to sit David's bowl? A four count. That's it. That's probably the only risk of playing that up shot. He has missed and, and given Craig the opportunity now to to sit David Wilson's bowl through, potentially. He could make a four. He's wrestling with the which hand to play because the his own front bowl is probably giving him a little bit of grief on this backhand. But there was danger in playing the forehand, so he's elected backhand. Maybe just the draw. Doesn't want to slice the jack. Well, he's underneath and missing the jack, so it should be one shot to Craig Mills. And it is making it now 10 11. Played 15 ends so far. And we see another change of length from Craig. Matt sort of halfway and Jack up around the tee. Just sort of struggling to find it a little bit at the moment. Mills. A good start on this occasion, however, so change of length has worked. Kept the mat in the sun. But we're certainly feeling the temperature drop at the moment. I would think that perhaps if the game continues at this rate, we may be finishing under lights, Isaac. Well, yes, there is always that potential. The birds are calling it a day. <laughs> They've seen enough. Craig opting to go get the jacket on as well. Yes, not a bad plan. <laughs> Played another good bow here. Two excellent shots. A very good rinse and repeat there. It's probably dropped a few degrees, Smithy, and the wind is just picking up a little bit as well. Sort of a little bit on and off. It's on for five or ten minutes and it sort of backs off a little bit and it comes out again. Yes, David just missing his line on that occasion. Feeling the breeze, took a narrower line, but the bowl still cut the head. Craig not happy with this one, that one's 
a little short and narrow, so. Not in David's way on the back end, so he will persist there. Got that bowl away quite nicely. May need to sit. Just slid through. Here's his final bowl for the end. David has three bowls behind, so he may be aware of that. He's played a lovely draw shot. He's tucked that away nicely. Out of sight. Maybe three or not sure. Yeah, great shot there. Just getting a little bit of jack. Sandwiching it between both bowls. Puts David in a bit of a tough position here. It's hard to draw it off. Yeah, playing weight's probably not overly beneficial. He'd have to try and kill the end. Lining up on the back end, which would probably suggest weight, but... Wait and see. I'm looking fairly direct with his feet, so... Yep, big weight. Big weight. Wow, on target for the front one, but didn't wasn't able to get anything further on the way through. Not sure if that... Probably two only. That confirms it. Two shots there to Craig Mills, who now nudges himself back in front, going once again blow for blow. It's now 12-11 in favour of Craig Mills from Grange Bowling Club. Craig playing a very similar length to the previous end. Matt sort of halfway and Jack up towards the tee. Getting end number 17 off to a very, very good start. Looking for a bit of rinse and repeat action again on the backhand. And he has done so. Falling over and getting the next one to fall over as well. It will be two shots now. Looking to follow him down. He looks like he's on a brilliant track with brilliant weight. And he has done just that, drawing the shot. Craig Mills. On the forehand, a little bit of jack movement. Brilliant reply. Probably holding three, but you would think Dave will be able to draw at least the second wood, if not the shot here. Great little replay.
So Dave now on the forehand. Change of hands. He's going to need a clear road. Really only needs to get second wood. And he has done just that. Brilliant weight. I'm back, Isaac. Just had to don the West End jacket. <laughs> the temperature has cruised down a bit. There's a great shot of uh, some of the bird life. Chewing away on the... Uh, <laughs> the bowls are safe flags. The bowls are safe flags. <laughs> to the bowls. <laughs> back, on, back on the back end. Greg Mills looking to add to his count of one. Ooh, he's just found his way past that one. He was very close anyway so he, if he had cleared that bowl would have probably been even closer. But two shot count. Yeah, another one here. Big one from David. Weight was brilliant on the previous bowl. Just seems to correct his line. Just a touch. Himself a bowl wider. Dave, unfortunately, just going a couple of bowls wide there. Two shots now to Craig Mills, which by Smithy and I's calculation takes it to 14-11. However, the scoreboard displays 15-10, so we'll have to see if we can rectify this. with a very good start again. Just a little bit tight. Confirm scores correct. again on that forehand. Looks to be just a touch tight again, but he's made a great weight correction. from David there but just just overweight and just sliding past another good shot from Craig Mills he's found his line and length some pressure on David now with a certainly a lead and holding good shots here but David just looking to just on the outside of that counter would have made third wood
Craig Mills once again a little bit tight. Does that maybe entice David to play a little bit of weight? He does have, as we see, there's a couple of bowls passed. Does have furthest back and Craig's bowl obviously sitting at jack high. So be interested to see what kind of shot he does play. <coughs> Craig Mills' last bowl may force him to look to play weight underneath that draw weight. Could simply bring in another counter for the Mills if he runs into that, but he's playing big weight. Not too far away. Oh, through the gap. Just going through that small, small gap. Well, Craig Mills now takes two shots which will actually put him to 17-10. Somewhere along the line in Smithy and I's calculations, we have got that score slightly wrong. So we do apologise. So Craig Mills, 17. David Wilson, 10. So we uh, yeah, must have calculated a, X, a one to David that should have been a one to Craig. So... We do apologise. Craig now within one end of a win. Broken away four successive winning ends. Yeah, that's the biggest streak we've had so far, Smithy. Before that, it was uh, three ends at the very start, ends two, three, and four. Other than that, they've been going almost end for end this whole time. Now played 18 ends. Of course, playing first to 21. David just pulling up short the green probably just dropping a little bit of speed totally in shadow now as the sun's down well behind the the trees to our west it is yes and a little bit of uh cloud cover coming through too so good correction from millsy david could probably hold on for another three or four ends here just collect a couple of ones it could turn the whole game on its head as the green will just start to slow down ever so slightly. Play down on the forehand changed from his favourite backhand. He looks very good here, Smithy. Played a good shot. Will it stop for him? Ooh, wait for, Hard to wait say. for Karen. Wheels he wants to know as well. Yes, he's drawn the shot. Done enough. Very good. Not quite running it out on this occasion. Yeah, he was on a very good track. Could force David now onto the other hand. He lined up to do it, but he's changed his mind last second. Well, really probably more danger on the backhand than the forehand. The good, good weight, unlikely to turn the ball of moves in, although he's tight. <laughs> I meant the short one, though, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Very well, I mean, that was the danger anyway on the backhand was to turn that one in for shot. So, probably played the right shot in the end. Just uh, played a little narrow and yeah. yeah. We'll wait for Karen again, and she's given Millsy the shot. Still has two seconds, so it's not the end of the world yet.
Craig now on that backhand that we just spoke about. He's going to need a clear run. He doesn't, uh, no, just not quite the weight. Well, David with two second shots. Does he try and roll Craig's out with a couple of rolls, or does he just try and draw? Well, I think he'd probably... To me, it looks like a shot with just ditch weight. He's got two bowls coming in. If he gets the gap between Craig's outside bowl and his own, he can sit the shot bowl. Turn his own bowl onto the jack. Lots of options there. Absolutely. Here we go, on the backhand. Watching with a lot of intent. He looks like he has an excellent shot for two. Well, that'll do for two. Very, very well played. He has unfortunately left the mat at the other end, other end so he's going to have to go for a quick jog. But he will collect two shots takes him now to 12. Craig Mills, 17. In this champion of champions singles final down here at Lockley's Bowling Club. Really starting to come in a little bit cold. I'm okay, mate. I've got the West End jacket on. <laughs> Might have to hit them up, see if we can get a couple, uh, they can be commentary jackets. We've sat through a few cold streams before, but still a little bit of sun peeking through, so it's not the worst. See, David here is, hasn't quite nailed this T to T. It could be maybe a sign that the, the greens are starting to slow down just a little bit. Important now. First bowls from here on in for David. Got some work to do to chase down the lead Craig has. I think Millsy may have left this a little short, so... Plenty of room is still available. Well, we enjoy our last few rains of rays of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does look a little bit dark and gloomy over in the corner. David there, maybe just a little overcorrection up a bit short but it will force or keep Craig sorry keep Craig on that forehand yes and we're certainly feeling a big uplift in the breeze from the west playing a little bit of havoc with the uh, our participants here as they try to work those changes out they need to make David's changing his hand. There's too much traffic for him on the backhand now. Yeah, good decision in the end. Unfortunately going to come up short as well, though. Leaving it, yes. It's so probably, I think the, the wind's actually changed around, I think, again on us, Smithy. This, I reckon they're now poking up into the wind, whereas previously this would have been with the wind. Yep, yep. Certainly more subtly than it has been. Nothing like a change in the in the game late. Throw another curveball at him as we see that vision there as well. The shadows almost completely covering the green now. And uh, Craig yet again, three bowls short of the jack. So nobody is shot as yet.
A little bit of overcorrection here from David, I think. That's just sliding through, so... <laughs> Comfortably the worst end of the match, though, so far. <laughs> yeah, I think can only... I mean, I'd be happy to put it down to a reflection on the heavier breeze and a, a little bit of change of direction in breeze. Yeah, so you get into a nice rhythm with the conditions and if they change suddenly, very, very happy, uh, very difficult to adapt quickly. But whoever does will reap the benefits. That's it. I think, like I said before, Smith, if uh, David can just hold on for another couple of ends. <laughs> he can hold on for another couple of ends here. He, he may be able to... These new conditions may come into effect and he may be able to just pull himself out of this five-shot deficit. So Mills, his final bowl. Personally, I would expect he will draw this. Yeah, well, good three or four feet to draw the shot. Put it on a good track. He's played it brilliantly. Very, very well played from Craig Mills. Took him four goes, but he got there eventually. One shot, taking him to 18. Now just three shots away from 21. David Wilson remaining on 12. Takes us now, Smithy, through to 20 ends played. So medium length. As you look out on the back end again, trusting the trusting the turn out there. A pretty good starter, just still a couple of feet to go. David's reply, similar, probably snuck past for shot. This looks good weight on this occasion. Yes, Craig making a very, very good correction on his first bowl. Collecting a little bit of jack on the way through as well. Struggling again. Chance for uh, Mimsy to put a lot of pressure on David's next two bowls. If he can just consolidate with this one, his shot bowl has just fallen over onto the jack. Will this stop? Well, it will stop. Yeah, off the can, however. Yeah, it's probably in a pretty good home, like we've said earlier, Smithy. David's not normally too shy to play a bit of weight when it's required. <coughs> much, much better effort on this. Yeah, that's a very, very good shot. Just the one down, two seconds. Yes, don't think... He can get under the front bowl for a trial for game, so we'll probably elect just to draw and beat that last bowl. Showing with a lot of confidence here, Craig. It looks a good shot. It looks great shot yes that was very good currently holding two shots 
Is this now potentially where we see David play some weight? Kind of hopeful he doesn't. <laughs> Thinking uh, drawing again is the better option here. Just got to sneak past the front, replicate the last bowl if he can. Go just one down here. It's going to be a very, very good outcome. Worst case scenario with weight is a feather off his own front bowl to his other. That's it. Sharp. But no, he's on the draw. He's on the draw. He's on a very damaging track here as well, Smithy. Is he going to have the speed to get there? Wow. What a shot. Oh, needs to flop. Brilliant display of lawn bowls. Craig thinks he's got it, but David... David wants a measure. Not even going to measure it himself. <laughs> well, Craig's... The umpire's been called by David, but Craig's electing to measure as well, so... Brilliant vision. He, he could measure his own bowl in and David could still elect to call the umpire. <laughs> oh, Bugley doesn't get in the way. I think it's a comfortable one there, yep. There we go, Craig Mills now just two shots away, winning or leading the way, I should say, 19 12 after 21 ends. Could not have played that final ball, ball much better as we watched the replay, just needed it to fall once it connected the Mills shot bowl, but wouldn't do it for him. So Craig scores one. That's it. So he's now just two shots away from his second champion of champion singles title. Not leaving it short first bowl on this occasion. Good effort here. A good start from David. Yes, very good start from David. Still on the backhand, being the tighter of the two hands, hands this commentary box side. Looks very good weight here from Craig Mills. Just sliding by. We're just getting a little bit of more turn than he's probably expecting. It looked like he was on a good track, just that last foot turning away. Yes, as you said, the wind a little flukier now, so an extra gust and get a little bit of extra turn. David's played a good shot again. He's certainly beating that one. That's it, just sneaking inside. I guess as well, Smithy, the the fence there with the wind coming more or less directly up and down the rink at the moment. Maybe not as wind affected as they get towards the tee. Needs to run. Just a yard short. Great opportunity here for David to... Draw another. Speed looks good, just a matter of how far it's going to turn. Another very good bowl. Looks like he's holding three. Maybe see some weight from Craig Mills now. Smithy's got furthest back bowl just, uh, well, what, six or nine inches off of the ditch. Karen indicating two shots. There you go. Craig shaping the backhand, looking to trail the jack and the 
stitch for game. That's it. Well, he's done it off the front bowl and onto the jack, so he will hold one, definitely, if not two. Yes, I think it's two. I think he's holding game as the, and then as the lie of the land sits there, and could even be three with that that toucher going into the ditch. Hard to say from from this angle. See a nice little replay here. What a massive bowl here for David Wilson. He just confirmed two shots. So currently down game. His focus will be just passing Millsy's second wood. That's it, yeah. He's just got to sneak past the tee by the looks of things. Save the game first and then if he happens to draw a shot, that's an absolute bonus. He's given it every opportunity. I think he may be just overweight and in. So there it is. There we go. Craig Mills, the not just having a quick look. No, nope. shaking hands. Craig Mills there. The 2022-23 champion of champion singles winner. Smithy, I'm going to ask you a quick favour. If you can give us a, a one-minute rundown on, on how that uh, game went, and I'm going to go see if I can grab these players for a quick interview. You do that, Isaac. I'll be happy to uh, look after the fort while you're gone. Uh, no, it was a it was a very good effort from David in his in his oh, first really? attempt at a major final oh, well. uh, against a very seasoned campaigner. Millsy <laughs> came out of the blocks reasonably well at, at four one start, but uh, found it difficult to to uh, get David away from him. He couldn't sort of make a break at any stage through the middle, and David took a lead at ten nine at one point, but then later in the game. As Millsy found the weight, the conditions changed a little and he was the first to, to land the new conditions. He was playing very well and scored four ends on the trot to get himself a, a seven. I'm eight. with uh, David, um, mate. And That's your over. first state final. Uh, tell us, talk us through anything and everything. Well, I probably got a few more shots than I was expecting. Um, uh, I've never really met Craig before or anything like that, so I didn't know what his game style was going to be like. Obviously, I knew I had to get close balls and something behind because I knew he was going to skim me on the attack. So he was just too good. There you go. And, uh, David, is this your, I guess, previous to getting here, was that your first club singles championship win? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. I, um, I've been bowling four seasons now, so I uh, managed to get the club champ this year and, yeah. Had a little bit of luck getting through my games up to now. Well, there you go. Well, four seasons in, and he's uh, made it through to a final of the Champion of Champions. Uh, most clubs, most people, to get to this point, you, you sort of play four or five or even six games at your club, and yeah. we had a round of 64, so you've still got another handful of games here. So yeah. that is a brilliant effort, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Um, and I'll see if we can uh, get a quick chat to Craig Mills. Millsy, congratulations, mate. That's your uh, second Champion of Champions singles. How does it feel? Oh, it's uh, been a long time between drinks for the Champ of Champions one, mate. Um, it's just the important one. It's been a big, tough ride. Grange Club singles is tough enough to get through itself and then to, to get through the strong field of the Champ of Champions. Um, uh, stoked. Yeah, brilliant. I guess uh, like we just uh, said and, and you touched on there, a lot of clubs, uh, it's very tough just to make it through your uh, and win your club singles, but uh, to win the champion of champion singles, you play four or five or even six games, uh, six games in the men's field. To make it through is a, is a huge effort. David here um, put on a brilliant performance. Were you ready for such heel nipping <laughs> uh credit to credit dave i knew he was hadn't been probably around or been seen as uh, much as maybe what i have been but uh, to his credit he uh, he stuck tough and uh, really really put the pressure on early and uh, made me made me work for it and then uh, probably a bit of experience when the green started to change and the wind popped up um late i changed hands and that probably got me back into the game a little bit and uh, i was just able to pull away but uh well, full credit to david uh, 
Blackwood, not a Premier League club to get through and uh, obviously you beat a lot of good players on your way through, mate. So a yeah, bit massive congratulations to yourself. So. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, fellas. That was a brilliant final. Much appreciated. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We, uh, we don't actually have any stream games tomorrow, but we will be back on Thursday for some more Champion of Champion Pairs streamed games. Thank you.